Right here, in the next process I'm just going to primer undercoat these cabinets to see how well they they come out before I go too far in this direction because that may determine what I need to do over here. So we'll start priming it and that's what we're doing. As with all plans, I guess, when it comes to doing renovations on a, in a van, your first thought or idea is the one you want to go with. But since then, we've got major changes for the inside of this. Um, it involves layout and everything. Right, the first task for this week is I'm going to take all this unit completely out. That's going to go. It was going to stay, and I was painting it to see how it would come up. I wasn't happy with it. I think the timber is past its use-by date. There is things lifting in it, bits missing off it, things not lining up on it. Um, so, yep, it's time for it to... Uh, to disappear so I'll make it disappear the best I can so the first thing I've got to do is try and unsecure it from the wall underneath here's a whole lot of brackets I've got to undo so I'll take those off first okay with the aid of a, a good light I can now show you what I've got to do so there's the brackets at the top and there's a couple there so I'll start with undoing those And just like any old vehicle, I guess, when it comes to a simple thing like brackets on the wall, that one, and of course the other one in the corner, one is always going to be a Phillips and the other one's going to be a slot. Now, it doesn't take much to match up your screws. Why people do that, I'm damned if I know. It takes twice as long. So anyway, time to fire into it. Right, I think I think this first one is a Phillips. So let's see. Yep, it looks like a Phillips. Good, it's out. Thank God there was no nothing behind it. There's only one in front, and that's the one doing the screwing, or unscrewing in this case. Anyway. Right, so now we'll do the other side. Right, time to do the other side. And another thing too is, what? Oh, jeez, God blimey! That's the shelf given away down below. <laughs> um. Why did I have to put brackets like this right next to a bulkhead so you've got hardly much room to spin your, your screwdriver around? I could have done it in the middle, it'd be so much easier. But hey, you know, <laughs> these are the things you find. What is this? Don't tell me. Oh, I see. There's a nut on the other side. Okay. And to just to do the same job, holding the brackets onto the back, onto this piece. So you have a mixture of self-tapping screws and bolts and nuts. Good lord. Now I've just taken the screw out of. This one, which is on an upright instead of like the other ones, and still our assortment continues because now I've got a self tapping with a slotted head, self tapping with a posi head, and uh, machine screw. 
and what else I'd find. Okay, the end of today's work we've got, well that's where it was when the furniture was still in place. So, I've managed to take all this out, right back to the back, just left a little bit in the corner there to do. So, now I've got to clean all this up, make sure it's nice and clean. Same with the back on there, and then I'm going to put the sound deadening in, plus the insulation in there, and on the top of there, and down here. So, then I can put the squats back in, the seat back in, so we can get the measurements from the side to the wall. So, that'll be interesting. Another thing that I've done is I've kept all the bits and pieces where we need templates. So that's the bit that goes down from the high bit down into behind the bed or the seat. So it's the bit that goes along here and down there. So I've kept that and I've kept a whole lot of other templates that are hidden in the back. Same over there. So um, so I've got plenty of datum lines to go by to, to put the new ones in. Rightio, today I'm going to just do a general tidy up. I'm going to put some sound deadening into this wall over here that I've, I've started. So do all this and then I'll um, yeah, put some sound deadening in the back hatch. Uh, which will then allow me just to clean everything out, get it all painted. And I've got to put the bed back in so we can get some measurements between the bed and the end wall for the new cabinets to go along. I think that's it. So that's uh, the program for today. We'll see how far we get. Well, another, another day in the life of the combi. Doing the floor, getting that all ready. But we've got a little bit of an issue I want to tidy up first, so I'll just show you that. Now, what I thought was rust an issue is actually that solid, solid steel in there. Um, there's no rust at all. So that bit of sealant there that's broken away, I'll, I'll just fill that. Um, I honestly thought it was rust because when you look on the side, it looks like rust marks, but they put sealant all the way along that archway there. So, yeah, I'll just clean that up, give it a bit of fill, or primer it, and then top coat. It should be all right. So one of the first things I'm going to do with regarding that area in there is I'm going to put this product on it. It's called Rust Guard. It's a treatment. It's a fish oil. Probably stink. Um, but I'm going to use this in various cavity areas and underneath just give these a little spray uh, underneath these just to protect them they I mean they've been all right for the last 50 years but you never know when rust will uh, start happening so we'll put some of this on and uh, see how smelly it is do some of these little crevices as well uh, and through some of these just a little squirt oh phew. yeah it does smell a bit <laughs> but never mind uh, and through these little holes that are in the side now these areas here where they would have bolted extra bench seats along I'm just going to squirt a bit under there because sometimes um, dirt can build up underneath these so I'll do all those as well. Poor. It's, not, it's not overly that pleasant. Right, I'll come back and I'll do the rest of those, those panels which is that one. Give it a good shake. Now 
you can see what I mean by stuff getting caught in them. I've vacuum cleaned this, but every now and again, something will fall in there. So, just to protect it, around it. And I think there was, oh yes, there's another one here. Give those a bit of, poo. That does stink a bit fishy. Oh. So, that's the stuff I'm using. Rust guard. Um, it's, um, I don't know who puts it out. It's Fish Oil by White Knight. Oh, well. Maybe he's a knight in shining armour when it comes to that stuff. Now I think while I've got the can, I might as well do the inside of this back door all along the, there's holes all the way along the bottom that I can inject that stuff into. So, oh, it's locked. So you can see the holes along the bottom of that door there. I think we'll just inject some of, some of that stuff into there. And that'll protect the bottom of the back door. So when it comes to squirting inside these, these panels, what I do is squirt down and back up on each one, each of these holes, because the can's got a little tube, thin tube, so you can get in those holes. Squirt it all the way along. Don't just squirt in the hole, squirt it along. So it meets up with the next one, squirt back that way, that way, and so on. All the way along, all the way around, up and down here, long, back and forwards and all those. So hopefully, that will solve that problem. Oh, funny thing happened. Uh, when I got to virtually dissect the last hole, as you can see here, this stuff there, um, the nozzle got lodged inside and it's disappeared inside. So it's not going to do any any damage, but <laughs> I thought that was a bit funny. Never mind. Right, now just going back to this bit in the corner here. Because I've removed a bit of this, um, what was the until whatever it was in there. Um, I'm, it's actually created a low point in, right in the corner. And one thing we don't want is a low point in these corners because if you get any moisture in there, it's going to uh, pull in that area. And uh, yeah, then you really will get. See, this is what I was talking about. I thought it was rust all this here, but it's not. It's actually um, that black sealant you can see just along in there. So. Anyway, what I'm going to do to build it up is I've actually got some some need it and I'm going to mix some need it up together and I'm going to force it into that hole to build it up so we, we have a nice sort of ridge where no water will pull. So I'll get stuck onto that now. It's um quite good stuff that's needed. I've used it quite a few times. Um, I've used a, a five glass one on the caravan and that worked really well. Uh, and this one's an all-purpose one which will do steel, which I'm going to put in the corner. So when you take it out of the tube there's a little cap that goes over the end. You just peel that off and put it on the bit you're not going to use and put it back in the tube. And then there's a plastic film. You just peel that off and then you're left with this tacky thing and you just screw it all around and mix it in your hand so it all becomes consistent in one colour and once it's all gone like that you can then force it into that, that corner so I'll do that so there it is it's all at the same height and all that um, we don't have to worry about sanding it or, or doing anything so long as the um, the area is nice and high so that water drains away from that. We can now um, push this back in and I'll put some extra tape on that later. So that's that done. Uh, it doesn't look pretty but it does the job. So uh, once you see the tape over it you'd never know anyway. And you can see that's um, how it looks with the full tape on all sealed up. Excellent. Okay, so here's all the inside all done and all the flooring all prepared, ready 
for the ply to go down. So it's all done, all looking nice. And that area over there, of course, was repaired. Also, I did in the back corner here, tidied up a few bits and pieces. So we'll go around the side and just to show you what I've done. In the back corner here, it was looking pretty horrible. It is now all tidied up. And I've done the same on this side as well, just tidied that up. So I'm quite happy with that. Well, I'm happy with how things have progressed in there. So I'm going to stop now. It's lunchtime and allow everything to dry off. So um, catch a bit later on. Thank <laughs> you.